ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel this is drama side uh almost immediately after i did the original george Strait, you look so good in love people were clamoring for me to take a look at jamie fox's uh tribute to george Strait. uh you look so good in love so with that being said I'm not going to talk you to death let's get right in there jamie fox Make some noise if you love some country music right now. When I say George, you say straight. George. George. Black fans too, George. You got black fans too. I know this audience doesn't represent it, but they're out there. My name is Jamie Foxx. I'm from a good old town called Terrell, Texas. Population 12,000 people. And I'm going to tell, tell you my personal story, Mr. Strait. Uh, you came to Terrell, Texas one time when I was 14 years old. And I told everybody, I don't care what side of the tracks I have to go over. I'm going on the other side of the tracks to see George Strait. I took a big risk that night. <laughs> but I get on the other side of the tracks. I'm right outside of Lee Silver Fox. Some of the club owners up top. And I said, I need to get in there. So you need to get on out of here now. You need to get on out of here now. And I was like, man, is it true that George Strait is performing? And they said, yeah, he is performing. And I didn't get a chance to see you that night. But for years and years, I told everybody that George Strait came to Terrell, Texas. And people said, there's no way he came to Terrell, Texas. And then two years ago, I ran into you. You said, Jamie, where are you from, man? And I said, I'm from Terrell, Texas. He said, seems like I've been there. And you told me the story about you coming to Terrell, and you validated my story. Now, I'm going to tell you the one thing about George Strait that's interesting. No matter what color you are, the sexiness in his music. Every woman out here, make some noise right now for the sexiness of George Strait's music. And I'm going through some things right now with my girl right now. So I had to take a page from you. And I pulled it to the side and I said, listen, I know somebody else is talking to you right now. I know you, you're entertaining some other guys, but uh, I just want to say this to you. You look so good in love. You want him. It's easy to see you. You look so good in love. I wish you still wanted me. Oh, how you sparkle. Oh, how you shine. The blush on the cheeks is more. He must do something that I didn't do. Whatever he's doing, it looks good on you. You look so good in love. Oh, you want him? It's easy to see him. Yeah. I'm not going to speak very much during this performance. As a matter of fact, when I get done saying what I have to say, I'm going to go back a little bit for those of you who are, uh, you know, truly enjoying this. As I said, when I did the original, I was asked to take a look at this, uh, which obviously I have no problem with it because I'm doing it. And I actually like Jamie Foxx. Uh, my thoughts about this, it's a tribute. So I'm not going to like go all the way in on it, but my, my, 100% real honest feelings about this is Jamie Foxx right now is singing this in a seductive sexual way. Uh, it's a sexy song in its own right. 
Um, and I don't really feel like it has to have any kind of extra additives onto it. I believe that George Strait did the song and he just sang the song. Uh, and that goes to show uh, the effortlessness of George Strait, uh, the, the classy, uh, legendary performer that he is, that all he has to do is his natural delivery. And it comes off sexy. It's one of the reasons why I fell, fell in love with the song to begin with. Uh, so no disrespect to Jamie Foxx here. Like I said, again, it's a tribute and he's doing it in his style and his fashion. But uh, George Strait, original, don't need nothing else. Don't need no. Listen, sometimes when you're cooking your meat and you put seasoning on it and you season it properly, when it's done, you don't need to add salt. You don't have to add pepper. You did that while you was cooking it. It's all good. Just my thoughts. As promised, I'll go back for those of you who are into it and let it ride. Darling, I made a lot of mistakes in my life, and I got a feeling right now that I'm making a huge mistake right now, because I know somebody else is talking to you, and I don't understand why you're doing it, because he doesn't even look as good as me. He doesn't have as much money as I have, but maybe it's my ego, George. My ego's in the way. And you know, I just want to say this. You look so probably get hate for what it was it was good uh like i said after viewing hearing the original uh being a fan of the original understanding what this is now understanding that this is a tribute uh it's good for what it was uh but would i listen to this ever again absolutely not it did nothing for me emotionally i wasn't emotionally drawn to it um but then you know, I, I believe what uh, NSYNC did. God must have spent a little more time on you. Alabama did that. Am I right? Uh, if I'm wrong, tell me in the comment section. No need to bite my head off. Just tell me. Uh, did Alabama do God must have spent more t uh, a little more time on you? Because, again, in that particular situation, as it was a great, big, successful hit for um, NSYNC, I enjoyed Alabama. Uh, what, who was it? John Michael Montgomery? Uh, I swear. All for One did it. All for One did a fabulous job. And I kind of like, I put that close to John uh, John Michael Montgomery. But again, you know, 
sometimes I feel like when the country artists do songs, like they have they have cornered the market on that situation. Although in the case of All For One, when they did it, it was a very, very big uh, hit for them as well. So it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, you know, just my opinion. But uh, nothing will ever outshine, in my opinion, George Strait's You Look So Good in Love. Uh, again, not saying that he was trying to, but that's just my opinion. This is Drama Side. Till next time. Thanks for watching.